Over the past few years, OnePlus has time and again shown that their Oxygen OS is fluid, snappy. It's one of the quickest user interfaces around. Now what happens if you take that Oxygen OS, de-bloat it and overclock the GPU? Can the 60 get even faster? Well, that's the experiment here. On one hand, we have a regular stock OnePlus 60 running on Oxygen OS 9. And on the other, we have, we have a OnePlus 60 running on ROM or V1.3, a de-bloated custom ROM with uh, the radioactive custom kernel that allowed us to increase touch responsiveness with a slight touch boost and a slight GPU overclock as well. We also made sure that all the little cores were online at all times. Both these are 8 gig RAM variants. Now can the OnePlus 60's performance be improved? Let's find out. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So before we start predictions, which one do you think is gonna win this, the stock 60 or the custom ROM 60? Leave a comment down below. So guys, as always, there are gonna be two tests and let's start with the less intense one. Both phones are connected to the same wireless network and they have no apps running in the background. So now let's go ahead, start the stopwatch. Opening up Super Mario Run. Both phones loaded up at almost the same time. The stock OnePlus 60 opens up YouTube faster and takes the lead. The stock 60 finishes the round in 38.102 seconds and the one with the custom ROM takes a little over a second more. Can it get into the lead with RAM management? Let's see. It's a close finish again, just about a second difference here. Stock 59.92, custom 54.03. Let's now move on to a heavier test. We have a few more apps, heavier games and a video to render. Let's first import the video. We are using the same clip here. Slowing it down to 30% and keeping it ready to render. You're using the video shop app today. So now let's go ahead and start the stopwatch. Opening up PUBG Mobile. The custom 60 loads it up a tad faster, that's thanks to the GPU overclock. Will it be able to keep the lead? Both the phones are loading up feedly now. The 60 with the ROM starts rendering late but it's blazing fast thanks to the increased GPU clocks and takes the lead. Both phones finished the round in almost the same time, a minute and 25 seconds with less than a second difference. Moving on to RAM management, both phones again have all apps in memory. The stock 60 has a slim lead here since PUBG had a choppy animation opening up on the custom ROM and the stock 60 manages to win this. So overall, despite the overclock, the stock OnePlus 60 managed to win the speed test. This is a testament to OnePlus and Oxygen OS optimizations when even a de-bloated ROM can't do much better than stock. It shows how efficient the software is here. Now, that is not to say that a, that a ROM like ROMR isn't without its positives. 
and the extra GPU horsepower while rendering might be a plus to some. And BT Dub, a big thank you to the devs. I will leave a direct link to the ROMs thread from XDA in the description. Do check them out if uh, you like ROMs and flashing ROM or is a pretty uh, stable ROM. So that's it. Uh, thought this would be a fun little video, a nice little experiment. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you feel you felt about the video. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.